Today, we're going to explore the critical role that formulas play in Maximo Health. In this video brought to you by Maven Asset Management, we'll demonstrate how formulas are used to help calculate an asset health score. As a reminder, there's two types of score contributors in asset health. There's a meter and a formula. We've previously demonstrated meter readings. Today, we're going to focus on formulas. So let's head on over to Maximo Health and demonstrate this functionality. All right, super. Let's start our demonstration today in Maximo Health. We're brought to the asset page, but I want to navigate down here to scoring. And I'm going to navigate to the contributors tab. As you can see, there's a number of contributors available. Some are provided out of the box. Others have been created in this environment. So with our focus on formulas, let's open up one and show you how they can be created very simply and also more complex. In this case, I'm looking to see if the asset is operating. If I look closely, it's formed on the asset object. And then as I look at the formula itself, it simply is an attribute from the Maximo database. So its asset is running. If the value is yes or one, that's a great score. That's where I want to be. So I have that value of one noted here. However, if my asset is not running, that gives me a no or a zero, and that's the worst possible score. And that will roll up to the overall score of the asset. Another one is a little bit more complex. Again, this is delivered out of the box. It's looking at year to date versus budget cost, again, on the asset object. If we look at the formula syntax here, basically what it's saying is if the year to date cost is greater than the budget cost, that's not a good condition, then give the asset the score of 100. And I see that over here. However, if I'm running less than the budget cost, then that's a zero score, and that's what I want. So it's really interesting to see how these formulas combined with the value normalization really build up to those overall asset scores. But let's go ahead and create a contributor today. And what I'm going to call this, this is a meter, it's a vibration one, but I'm actually going to do a score a formula for it. And I'm going to call it a demo. And as we scroll down here, we're going to use it on our asset object, but I'm going to switch over and have it navigate to formula. Now to save some time, I have a formula that I created in Notepad. And let's take a close look at what this is. So again, I'm looking at a meter value for vibration, and I'm saying if it's greater than 25, give it a zero. However, if that meter reading is between 25 and 16, give it a one, that's a good state. Otherwise, give it a zero. So I may use this if I'm not utilizing condition monitoring in some case, it's just a simple example, but really showing you how you can extend those formula variations. I also want to highlight that there is a great reference material here, learn more about Maximo formulas. I have it open here in another browser, and if you scroll down here, um, Tom Saracen, who is an excellent resource, has been working with Maximo for a number of years, has two documents on Maximo formulas that are excellent references. But let's go ahead and put our information in here again. What is our best possible value? Our best possible value is we want to be one, right? And our worst possible value is a zero. So again, if I look at this, if my vibration reading is over 25, I'm going to give it a zero, which is bad. I want to be in that sweet spot between 25 and 16. I'm going to give that a one. Otherwise, if it's under 16, I'm going to give it a zero. Again, worst value. So go ahead and click on Create. And here is the formula that we've created with all that great information. If you make a mistake at any time, and I do that all the time, I can just come, a hit, come in here, click on the little pencil button, and say this is for the demo or whatever you might need to do. So that's a real quick introduce, introduction excuse me, to how we use formulas as contributors in asset health. Thank you.